mentality that just runs through culture and runs through society today. And I almost didn't even do this review of the film because I don't know how you talk about something so real, so powerful. The actor playing Webb sounds like him, looks like him, acts like him. When he's getting frustrated in the movie and getting mad and yelling at people, I have been yelled at just like that. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a nightmare almost to realize that I was living a nightmare and I was so busy covering so many stories, I didn't even realize how important it was because it wasn't just about the government bringing in drugs and the banks laundering the money and CIA aircraft crashing in Mexico and all the stuff that's come out since then. It was about them destroying the truth and destroying a man who stood up for what was right in the face of his house getting broken into and his car getting messed with and his kids getting threatened and, his, and losing his wife and her divorcing him and everybody turning their back on him and then just assassinating his character first before they killed him. And I realized that if they can assassinate my character or Ron Paul's character like they're trying to do, they had the White House attack us twice in the last week through media matters, that they will kill me. And that's why I got nauseated. It's not even the fear of death. It's that our weakness are these people's strength. And the fact that we lay down and are passive is why this corruption has grown and grown and grown. So throughout this piece, we've been flashing up some of these news articles uh, that are here, but people should go back and read these about confirmed DEA struck a deal with Mexico's most notorious drug cartel. Uh, confirmed Mexico drug plane used for CIA rendition or kidnap torture flights or Operation Fast and Furious uh, as a false flag. All of this is coming out. And it's because of people like Gary Webb breaking down that first layer, being the shock troop of truth, uh, being on the very cutting edge of trying to bring justice to this society. It's people like him, the foundation that all of us, men and women of every race, color, and creed stand together today. And they targeted this individual and destroyed this individual because they're afraid of the power of the individual. They're afraid of what people with truth and justice can do. And that's why I always end this transmission by saying, if you are watching or listening to this, you are the resistance. You do have power. We can make a better world. We can stand up for what's right. We can end this drug war and decriminalize. We can start shutting down the prisons. We can have an economy based on justice and based on innovation and based on exploration, not based on fraud, not based on uh, SWAT teams and lawyers and huge prison complexes. We have the biggest prison population in the world. We have the worst levels of cancer and disease in the world. We've gone from the most blessed country to the most cursed by every metric. Well, that's it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Great job of the crew earlier here in studio, breaking it all down. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow live on the radio, 11 to 2 Central, InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I want to salute the folks that put out Kill the Messenger. They've tried to kill me as a messenger. So I hope we can all come together in solidarity and promote liberty. And I hope the producers and the stars of the film will come on the show so that we can uh, share our experiences together. But again, I salute the makers of this film for their courage. There's never been a film like this made before. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ah. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. 
It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your Pro Pure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1 888 253 3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide. Something very mysterious is going on right now that statistically seems impossible, but somehow almost overnight, Every major alternative website that challenges the establishment media is suddenly experiencing a dramatic decline in readership. Well, at the same time, pro-government websites are quickly becoming popular. Well, this according to the latest Amazon-owned Alexa ratings that strangely indicate many so-called conservative websites suffered a steep decline in rankings through the month of October 2014. The puzzling trend, first observed by WorldNet Daily reporter Leo Homan, appears to have affected many of the web's most popular alternative sites, including WND, The Drudge Report, The Daily Caller, and yes, of course, InfoWars. And oddly enough, it seems to have affected every major website that carries headlines contradictory to the Obama administration's talking points. Hmm. Let's take a look at last month's bizarre plunge in traffic ratings traditionally classified as alternative or conservative media. Infowars.com, October 2014. A sudden and dramatic drop-off. WorldNet Daily suffers a steep decline as well. The Daily Caller, down. Breitbart, even Fox News suffer huge drop-offs. And look what happened to the Drudge Report. Their Alexa rating absolutely plummeted. Meanwhile, in contrast, pro-government websites are mysteriously trending right now. Look at the sudden popularity of Think Progress, Media Matters, NPR, Democracy Now!, and even Planned Parenthood is suddenly becoming very popular. And even though, according to the New York Times, MSNBC is experiencing one of their lowest quarterly ratings in history, somehow, magically, the left-leaning network is suddenly becoming popular on the internet, according to Alexa. It just doesn't make any sense. I am bad, Media Matters. I'm evil. You're good to be state-run media. You're good to go work with Alexa to fake the ratings numbers, to show every libertarian or conservative site losing 90% of its viewers or readers when our own internal metrics were spiking and exploding at all-time highs, and you were too dumb to even get Alexa to change their internal subscription service where you could actually get the numbers showing an over 70% increase in traffic in just the last month, you stinking liars. Now look, these drastic changes in Alexa ratings are blatantly inaccurate. Our very own analytics at InfoWars, for example, show a zero traffic decrease. The Alex Jones Show continues to reach millions of people every single day, and our YouTube channel is absolutely skyrocketing. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. So it looks like Alexa has finally joined the dark side and they no longer play a role as a politically impartial internet ranking service. That's the bad news, but the good news is that the establishment is running scared right now, and the obvious blatant infiltration of Alexa looks like a desperate move to conceal the alternative media's massive rise in popularity, and that's because we're on the march and the empire's on the run. <laughs>